fue él y seguirá siendo un modo de resistencia. Y por eso fue esa, esa forma de ellos comunicarse, eh, porque el tambor se, se utilizó también como esa comunicación para mandar unos mensajes a través del tambor a otras de las comunidades cercanas y planificar sus fugas. Así que constantemente fue y eh, seguirá siendo una forma de... It's... It's recognizable. Everybody within the tribe knows what a neopod is. If even if they don't know exactly like how to fish them or how they were fished or who made them or or how to make them, they all recognize what a neopod is. It's a symbol of our persistence on the landscape. Um, it's something that that brought us through hard times, but it's also something we were able to carry from our ancestors right on up until today. Um, So in many ways, I think we've used it to sort of, to exist, you know? And not only does it provide food, but it, it maintains our culture. Like it sustains us, you know, in a more of a spiritual sense. With, with, with blues, right? Like you had like African-Americans who weren't really in dance studios. They were either in juke joints or bars or in their houses just simply wanting to dance with their loved ones. And often in those spaces, there wasn't much space. And so you didn't have like much space to really get around. And also you, you, you like this person, no different than like being in the club today, you want to be close with them. And so you're connecting with them and you're just moving and traveling, pretty much walking, which is why there are no steps, because you're walking. And you just express the music together. Um, like I was saying, when you walk into any church in Gullah Geechee regions, you're probably going to find at least one on every roll with that wooden floor. And you'll hear that tempo being set without a drum, the humming, the belting of song, the call and response. And that was what we call soul stir. I became aware of the West Virginia um, old traditional music scene, mountain music scene, while also learning all different kinds of music with my contemporaries. And uh, so we traded tunes, we traded music. If we were all gathering to have a party, we were bringing whatever instruments we had, we were making music. We were bad. We were good, we were okay. <laughs> Some of us were great. And it was just all about sharing. And that's still the more important thing to me. Now you must answer my questions nine. Sing 99. If there is a way that I can further the understanding and the power of women in history and bring that into the present, then I am doing my job as, as a feminist and as a kid who's, you know, trying to find my place. If you do something with your, your hands and your mind together, it's a good antidote for the misery of the world. You, you get lost in what you do. Uh, we, we call him uh, Osa because uh, it's a way to um, honor him for what he does and the, how long he's been doing it and um, it, it means a maestro or master or even professor. He's very talented. He's very talented. Music is international. All people uh, understand it.